Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachahakwadash. A double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And as always, we give peace and salutations unto the elect, the household of faith. All right, starting with the house of David. All right, the 144,000. All right, men who have been raised up. All right, throughout the ages to teach this word they have the new song all right that is needed all right not only to uh gather the body unto repentance all right also the vibration of the song they sing all right whether they're on earth or in heaven <laughs> will lead to the downfall of babylon the great okay because they have been given something special when you read the book of uh, revelation the 14th chapter it tells you that that set group of men, all right, the tabernacle of David, have the name of Yahweh written in their foreheads, all right, meaning the victory is sealed, all right, the instruction of victory is sealed within our minds, Lord willing, we're of that uh, household, all right, for a particular purpose, as uh, our forefathers chanted down the walls of Jericho. You get that sentiment, you know, reading Revelation the 14th chapter with this new song, all right, after the 144, all right, which some of those very men are here today preaching his word, all right, um, you have the large multitude, the rest of the men, women, and children whom the Lord will have mercy on. You read John the 17th chapter, Yahweh Shai prays, all right, for the men he sent, all right, to teach this word. Okay, the 12 are symbolic of all of the disciples, all right, that household, that tabernacle starting with Peter. Okay, and he also prayed for those who would hear their words and be moved unto repentance. And we need that covering. We need those prayers more than ever in this time as we're being afflicted, uh, whether, it, whether it be mentally, physically, uh, financially, whatever. You know, uh, we're all we're all going through our set challenges and you always have to remember that these challenges were written into the story, written into our members so that we can uh, go through them and endure and overcome death. Because right? that's what we're here for, to overcome death. Death has been the only thing that separated us from our power. OK, and we're fighting to get out of these corruptible bodies and we see our enemy, the devil. All right, moving with wrath, moving with fervency to establish Satan's kingdom on earth. All right, and then that even afflicts us. You know, the, the vibration of the earth, the way things are being handled, the condition of the earth, the condition of animals, condition of the air. It, it all bothers us of the uh, household of faith in more ways than we know. All right, so we're going to need a great deal of patience. We're going to need a great deal of faith and endurance in these latter days but the beauty of it is that if it was put in you okay you're gonna overcome all right even uh, unto death all right so i wanted to read second thessalonians the first chapter very comforting chapter i felt like uh, the church would benefit from this being brought out and uh, as you hear these words you know you got to take a man as if paul is speaking to you all right now it says thanksgiving for faith and perseverance, okay? And that's what we're going to need hardcore going into these times. As you can see, things are getting tighter. As you can see, uh, you know, they're setting up a whole new religion, okay? And uh, to have a belief system as we do, okay, is eventually going to cause a collision, okay? And... Uh, that's when the Heavenly Father, he, as if he's not already taken over, that's when things are going to move fast. All right, because a lot of propaganda, lies, and BS are coming our way. All right, just as uh, was going on with the church at this time. Now, I'm going to start here. It says, Paul and Sylvanus and Timotheus unto the church of Thessal uh, Thessalonians. All right. As a matter of fact, let's look up that word. I never looked it up. Maybe I have. I just don't remember it. But I always like to look up the names of these churches because these are the seven churches, you know, um, 
that was set up. You can read about. Um, you can read about the churches that uh, Paul set up. And uh, Yahweh Shai speaks to them through John and uh, Revelation. Now it says Thessalonicus. Okay, that Thessalonians. Let's see here. Victory of falsity. See that victory of falsity, and we're uh, getting victory over lies in these times, man. Okay, and there's a lot of falsity going around under the guise of this devil. Okay, and playing and manipulating uh, uh, the people's minds against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and as it says in the book of uh, Second Edges, corruption shall be overcome. Okay, but it's a process, and we have to remain faithful during that process. It says, unto the church of the Thessalon uh, Thessalonians, all right, Thessalonians, because these were Israelites scattered amongst these regions. Okay, and God our Father, and the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, all right, grace unto you and peace. All right, just like we got churches scattered in different regions now. I mean, if we write a letter to the church at Alabama, okay, are we speaking to the whole uh, city of Alabama? No, we're writing to the saints, those of the household of faith that are in Alabama. And you can read that when you when you look at all of how most of these letters start out. All right. See how he starts it out in First Thessalonians, the first chapter. Okay, Paul and Silvanus and Timothy unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Not everybody in this region was in Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, the grace and peace is unto them. Just as when John was baptized, he wasn't baptizing that that call of baptism wasn't to everybody. OK, it was to the children of Israel. Let's prove that. All right. In the book of Luke. This was told to John the Baptist's father when he was conceived. OK, verse 14, Luke 1 and 14, and thou shalt have joy and gladness and many shall rejoice at his birth. All right. For he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink, Nazarite. And he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. All right. And he had a father. All right. To be born of the Holy Spirit does not mean an angel in, in, embedded a, uh, you know, using artificial insemination, an angel seed into the woman. No, the father put the seed into the woman is just a special assignment was tied to the spirit that fulfills prophecy. So he was filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother womb as Jeremiah was told, when I formed you in the belly, I knew thee and ordained thee a prophet. Well, John is written in prophecy to come to do what? Turn the hearts of the children to the father and the hearts of the fathers to the children and call our people unto repentance. So, yes, he was filled with the Holy Spirit, but clearly here he had a father named Zacharias. OK, but here's the point. Luke 1 and 16, and many of the children of Israel shall he turn to the Lord their God. So that baptism that was preached by John the Baptist was only for the Israelites. Just as these letters are written to the Israelites, to the saints, just as these videos we do. Right now, we're doing videos, all right? And what do, what do we start it off with? All praise to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, all right? Uh, uh, peace and salutations unto the elect, the saints, okay? So, let's go back to where we were in the book of uh, Second Thessalonians. So, I want to just read through this uh, chapter. It's not too long. For comforting purposes, all right? Because I feel the church, we, we're living in a time where there's a lot happening. So we got to keep our cool and remain uh, focused on what matters, okay? And, li and take heed to, uh, you know, those 
those spiritual nuggets, those angels <laughs> through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua putting in your mind. All right, don't don't uh, you got to be mindful not to follow your flesh and your lust because they could uh, put you in some crazy situations, man. Okay, so uh, Second Thessalonians one and one, Paul and Silvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians in God our Father. In the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, okay, and we know what was happening at this time. You know, a lot of Jake was uh, worn out, depressed, mad. They thought that when Yahweh Shai came, that that would be it; that the kingdom was going to be restored to Israel. So you had a lot of people losing the faith. You had a lot of people uh, teaching off doctrines, saying that the, the Lord is the, the kingdom is coming tomorrow. No. Okay, there was a lot of prophecy that had to be done and fulfilled after this that would lead to the kingdom. Okay, That's why in the very next chapter he says, look, the man of sin is going to have to be revealed. And the mystery of iniquity is already at work. Esau would have to have world domination and set up Satan's kingdom on earth before the Lord you know, ultimately took him down. Rome at that time had just ruled, but eventually we knew it was going to fall, the Western Roman Empire. It says, Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay, grace and peace is to his saints. Okay, not even all Israel at this moment on the, on the first go around are granted uh, that grace and peace. Now, overall, when it's all said and done, we know all Israel will be saved. All of those spirits that the Lord chose to be israelites will partake in the covenant okay but some were chosen all right uh, on this go around to not make the boat and drown <laughs> okay it says we are bound to give thanks always for you brethren as it is meet okay because your faith groweth exceedingly and the charity of every one of you all towards one another abounded and that's the spirit that should be flowing amongst the churches OK, and uh, those of you who are listening, OK, your faith should be growing exceedingly, seeing the very things that, you know, Yahweh, you know, by Shem Yahweh Shai, via the prophets, the very things they said that was written, you know, before we were even born and that you see the prophets of this time speaking and saying and, ha and, it's, and it's manifesting itself so fast, your faith should be growing exceedingly, which should lead to what more charity. And love towards one another, man. Okay, the spirit amongst the brotherhood should be flowing in brotherly love. Okay, little kinks, you know, we all have issues, but, you know, work them out. Be patient with one another. Understand that not every brother is on every, you know, not everybody has the same office. Okay, and be mindful. Okay. Uh, it says, uh... <clears throat> So that we ourselves glory in you in the churches of God. And I want to say this too. Uh, the water. The water. Uh, and may Yahweh Bashim Yahushai bless any of you, you know, uh, brothers and sisters who have given, you know, whatever was on your heart to give, you know, not even in monetary, but whatever, you know, gifts you may have, whatever uh, you brothers and sisters has given, you know, the Lord sees that. Okay, even giving prayers, if you don't have anything physical to give or carnal to give, hey, prayers, the Lord sees that. You're praying for the men of the Lord because this is a dirty job. So it's comforting, you know, whatever we receive from you, brothers and sisters, starting from the apostles and elders on down. Um, look, we're going to teach anyway, but those things are, are comforting to the men of the Lord, you know, and it, uh, it, it boosts our faith as well. All right. To let us know that uh, the impact through the Holy Spirit that has been placed upon us is actually, uh, you know, is, is felt. All right. Because the, the goal is to get the hell up out of here and that you be edified. So the water to each one of you, brothers and sisters who uh, give. Or even pray for us. All right. Which, of course, is not something that can be physically seen, but the, the angels know. All right. So verse 4 says, so that we ourselves glory in you 
in the churches of God for your patience and faith in all your persecutions and tribulations that ye endure. And being in this fight <laughs> comes with persecutions and tribulations that you have to endure. Okay? The very fact that you've changed your life around and repented and feel sorry for the things you once did has caused you persecutions, tribulations in your life. Right? Because you decided to, you know, get more serious about the Bible because you took the Lord serious in these latter days. That comes with what? You got to have patience, faith, because you're going to be persecuted for that. All right. But you don't want to be persecuted for being a nigga. So we'd rather be persecuted for righteousness and standing up. All right. On what? Yahweh Bashmi Shai commanded. Okay. Understanding that there's a greater gift. Okay, so these 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 things that we endure are what, which is a manifest token of the uh, of the righteous judgment of the Most High that ye may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which ye also suffer. So these uh, persecutions and tribulations and the hell we catch, because sometimes you you look around and you like, damn man, the the world, everybody they happy. You know, the, it don't seem like they're catching too much hell, you know, although a lot of people are faking it. But it's like, damn, we're afflicted, brothers, ailments, all sorts of things happening. It's like everywhere you look, there's always some sort of a ish situation occurring. It's like, damn, you know, is the Lord with us? But that is actually a, 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 a testament that he's that he's with us because the Lord said who he loves, he chastens. And we have to be mindful that we're still paying for things we did in other lives. And we still have folly that needs to be purged out of us. Even in this time before we're counted worthy. All right. But these things were all written for us to go through. And he's going to put a spirit on you to endure these things, which is going to be a manifest token that you are one of those spirits. Okay. Because there is a fight. Okay. We're not saved by the keeping of the laws we're not saved by our works but if you are of the household of faith the, the, your 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 works are going to show forth and they're going to be notable to the angels and you're going to stand out amongst all of these wicked dumbass people in this world man because there's millions of billions of them and it's just very few of us okay it's like david versus goliath okay so the, those things that we endure overcoming and fighting and going through are a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God that ye may be counted worthy, okay? We're not going to, it said through much tribulation, mental afflictions, thoughts you got to fight, things you're going to go through, right? Those are a token, right? It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So these people are going to pay. As a matter of fact, let's get the book of uh, Philippians, the first chapter. These wicked ass people, you know, brothers doing videos pouring their heart out a nigga come on with a whole agenda you 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 bringing out vital information and a nigga comes arguing with you about the flat earth or arguing with you about this you got the conscience community who 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 has basically tried to hijack the bible and use it for their benefit to make money all right to stir up minds cause controversy because of the waning effect of their beliefs Nobody gives a damn about the comedic gods. Nobody's talking about the, the, the Metuneta and all of this garbage. So what do they do? They, they're, they're hijacking the Bible in their in their eyes. You got other Israelites allowing them. Okay, doing weak ass debates, talking shit. Okay, all over the place. And you get tired of it, man. Okay, you get tired of it. But at the same time, it's needed. It's needed, man. This is uh, Philippians 1 and 27. Because if you're chosen from the foundation of the earth to be of this body, then there's a, there's a uh, you're also, you have your set tribulation, your set scoffers, your set everything. Okay, your set, you know, uh, afflictions that only are going to be conducive to your spirit. Okay. Philippians 1 and 27. <laughs> and I guarantee you this was all right uh all of the saints who are at Philippi all right now um 
It says, only let your conversation be as it becoming the gospel of Hamashiach, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, that I may that I, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel. And that's what it's all about. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries. Okay, you can't be terrified by them. They're going to be there. They're supposed to be there. The Lord put them in a particular order and they're going to be in it. Until the flood comes, all right, so to speak. Okay, which this time is going to be fire. So it is a, it's a righteous thing with the most high to pay these people back. But they just had to be there to get on your damn nerves, you know, or, or whatever it may be for you to be proven. For you to overcome, for you to endure. That's your story. And in nothing terrified by your adversaries. Hey, the Lord may put a particular nigga as a supervisor or even if it ain't a, a nigga nigga everybody's a nigga heathen even niggas right or 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 a mo in a in a position where you got to deal with them every damn day working and it, it may vex your soul but it, no the lord got something for this person if you wanted a household of faith man anything that's why we gotta we can't let them Christians hijack this turn. You gotta let go and let God. <laughs> Literally. Cause you'll you'll go crazy trying to go tit for tat with these demons. Let them have it. Heap heap coals on their head. Play Clark Kent. All right. Be wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. And and, and these people are getting ready to take the L. They already ju juiced up. So miseries are coming to these dumbass people, man. Because their investment, they've invested in a lie. They've invested in Satan. And, and they, they forgot Satan is in subject to the most high. So as this world fades away and this what people put all their stake in, you know, dissolves, these people are gonna dissolve and lose their mind. And in nothing terrified, verse Philippians 1 and 28, and in nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, okay, but to you of salvation, and that is of the Most High. For unto you it is given in behalf of Hamashiach not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake, having the same conflict you saw in me, now here to be in me. Okay, so... Yeah, don't be terrified by your adversaries, all right? They're set up to be destroyed, but for you, they're set up so that you are proven unto salvation, okay? So, going back to uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6, it says, Seeing it is a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Yes, Payback is coming to our own people who came against us and to you heathen, you Edomites especially. Because you're, you're seeking to trouble us on a whole nother level. And our own people are going to be the first ones that really hardcore come after us. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. So to you who are troubled in the spirit, looking at this world, you know, understanding that it's, it's, it's going all the way left, it's wicked, there's no future here. Rest with us, okay? Because we all want a legacy. We all want, you know, family. We all want nice things. We all want these things. But look at the world and the powers that be and how they rule. It's no future here for those types of things. All right? So what do you do? You you pray for your daily bread. If you have more, you, 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 uh, you help, all right? Whatever gift you have, you build up on that gift. Okay, and the Lord is going to do the rest, man. So for you who are troubled, you rest with us. Because a lot of these people in this world have made lies their refuge. You see? But those lies are getting ready to uh, 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 find themselves to be a bad idea. Okay? All of those people who had all of these pride marches doing all of this evil. <laughs> and, and Jake is hardcore at the forefront of a lot of this this is uh isaiah 28 
and 15 because you have said we have made a covenant with death and with hell are we at agreement okay so they're, 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 hey, the, in the in the gates of hell shall not prevail and our people are in agreement with the science and with all this crap that's going out here bro all of these people but what they're getting ready to find out is that that was only built up to be confounded and there's no life in it when the overflowing scourge shall pass through okay a lot of these people think when it comes the stuff we're talking about is not going to come unto them when the overflowing scourge shall come through it shall not come unto us for we have made lies our refuge and the falsehoods that we hid ourselves so a lot of these people think because they're obeying satan that they're going to be good okay <laughs> but when you go down to uh let's see here speaking through the spirit of yahweh who's a, a stone of stumbling right the true gospel is a stumbling block to our people it says uh as a matter of fact it says therefore thus saith the lord god behold i lay in zion for a foundation a stone which is yahweh shai and we've been sent here to preach him okay a tried stone he went through the fire a precious cornerstone of this tabernacle all right that we're uh building a sure foundation he that believe it shall not make haste see so us who are of the household of faith we're we're we're, we're uh, operating with a great deal of patience and understanding wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time as it said here it said that here in this very chapter okay that uh that uh, our faith oh here we go verse 4 it says so that we ourselves glory in you in the churches for your patience and faith and all your persecutions and tribulations that you endure because what is the patient in the faith of the saints all tied to <laughs> okay let's get that uh, revelation let's just type it in because I think it says it in a few Everything is all through the spirit. I just was like let me go into Second Thessalonians. So this is uh Revelation thirteen and ten. He that leadeth it to captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's a patient in faith of the saints. Recompense. And they're gonna make that mindset and that belief to be a uh hateful. Or, or or something deemed worthy of you being jailed they're gonna use like nero they're gonna use the doctrine against us and do false flags and evil and say see this is what they teach look at what they're doing okay revelation 14 and 12 here's the patience of the saints here are they that keep the commandments of the most high and the faith of yahweh by shimmy shai yahweh shai all right so we're operating on a whole another plan field so he that believeth shall not make haste meaning you seeing the things that are going you're not hastily uh 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 making decisions based upon the flesh okay like these niggas they 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 they're they're bending over they're bound to the image of Baal setting themselves up for great judgment and they're still going to be judged. You're just going to be judged with the juice and the chip. It says, judgment also will I lay to the line and righteousness to the plummet. And the hell shall sweep away the refuge of lies. And the water shall overflow the hiding place. And that's this truth. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And your agreement with uh, hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass, shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by. You're going to be judged. You're not going to get away because you in uh, bow to Satan. That's going to be uh, put you in the position of a more notable judgment. All right. So going back to first Thessalonians. Sixth chapter. I mean, the first chapter in the sixth verse, seeing it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. And to you who are troubled rest with us when Yahweh. All right. So send uh, Yahweh Shai, okay, when the Lord Yahweh Shai shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels, and that's coming, 
Okay? Everything else we've said or the prophets have said has come to pass. How much more of that? And flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not God. And we need that. All right? That obey not the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Okay? Who shall be punished with an everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Okay? And that's just symbolic of the, the hell and the destruction that's going to come with being against, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in that day. Okay? When he shall come to be glorified in his saints, which is happening now. Okay? The names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai were not being glorified in this earth prior to this teaching going out, starting at Abba Bivens. Right? The, the saints are the ones who, who started to proclaim that name and it got more and more powerful on the earth, even until right now. He's being glorified in his saints and to be admired in all them that believe. And if you're here, you admire, okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're into it, right? That word admired is thalmazo, to wonder at, to marvel at, to be in wonder, to be had in admiration. As you hear the videos, you're moved to repentance. You're like, wow, that makes sense. I, I, I've been wanting to know the understanding of why it says this in the Bible. I knew there was power in this book. And you brothers, through the spirit of making things clear, you're, you're admiring Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're wondering at. The whole world is wondering after the image of the beast. And you're wondering and informing yourself into his image through the spirit, which is a good thing. In, in spite of your uh, earthly conditions and, you know, the hell you're catching, you're being built up in the inward man. OK, it says, because our testimony among you was believed in that day and we're in that day where the testimony is being believed on a high level, which is causing a stir. Which is making this devil have to move uh, faster. There's an age of an enlightenment going on. Not only amongst the household of faith. But the whole world is starting to see that a lot of things that they thought were true are, are lies. Corruption is being overcome. So the the, the, the testimony of Yahweh Bashim Shai will be believed in that day before the Lord okay, would, would, would uh, send this only begotten son. You would rest in this truth, right? So we're in that day where where the where the, the the word is being admired, okay? Showing you we're at the end. Wherefore also we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling and fulfill all good pleasure of His goodness in the work of faith with power, okay? That the name, let's read that again. Wherefore, we always pray for you that our God would count you worthy of this calling. And that's what I hope for all of you brothers and sisters who are in the right spirit. Right? That you'll be worthy, you know. And to be worthy means you have to go through uh, different afflictions. You have to endure different things. You got to deal up rightly. You got to fight the flesh. You got to overcome death. Okay? And fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power. And that's the that's the weapon. Faith is a weapon. Okay, you got a lot of people who boast in carnal weapons. The true weapon we have is 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 not even it's nothing you can see, touch. It's a connection we have with our power from on high through through our minds and these uh these vessels. The scriptures say in second Corinthians the fourth chapter we have this treasure in earthen vessels and that's the victory that's the weapon okay it's powerful too it says that the name of our Lord all right Yahweh Shah Hamashiach may be glorified in you and ye in him according to the grace of our God and the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach you got people boasting that we're already in the new covenant yeah, Yahweh Shai's blood was shed for that new covenant. All right, but there's a the, 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 we we had to be in a grace period. <laughs> All right, remember we're in debt. We needed grace in order to get into that new covenant. 
Okay, if we were in a new covenant, we damn sure wouldn't be teaching and we damn sure wouldn't be sinning. Okay, we're, we're under grace. You are not under the law, but under grace. Now, the law still stands, but we broke the first covenant. Now we're given grace to where we can offer up a sacrifice in unclean flesh and still be justified and perfect. All right. Through what? Predestination. OK, so we're under grace right now. OK, which allows that remnant to be brought into that new covenant. OK, so with that, hopefully I will edify it on to the next. Shalom.